What's going on everyone? We're gonna do a technical analysis video, kind of mark out some levels so we're prepared for what happens next on Tesla. So I was very, very excited with Tesla to kind of start the open, Cena starting to kind of ramp up in that pre-market and right off the bell. We initially did put in a high of 745. That did get confirmed, okay? So we did confirm those opening range, that opening range break, and we went to a price of around 750. Now here's the problem. That move to 748, 749 came so quickly that depending on when you got filled and your fill times, you probably weren't up that much. Three, five, six, seven percent if you're trading options. Not that much would have required you know, high level of skill or, you know, no patience whatsoever just to get in and get out, right? Nine times out of 10, you know, we're going to be looking for that follow through. Myself, personally, I would have been looking for this, uh, you know, to at least tag the upper range here at around 758. Anything over 750, 754, 755 could have been a more feasible spot to, you know, feel comfortable in selling. Aggressively did pull back. What I was looking at here is to see which one of these rising hourly supports was going to catch. Uh, obviously, that first rising support was the five-day moving average, which got shredded through. But it, what it looks like now is that the 10-day moving average on the one-hour time frame is acting as our support. You can see this wick that came down quickly for a moment in time, lost it, and then sucked it back up. We do have the 20-day moving average sitting at around 722, and we've got a Bollinger Band sitting at around 721, and then we've got the 50-day moving average on the one-hour time frame set, setting at a price of 716. So what does that all mean? What it means is it's going to spell for a choppy environment. Just due to the fact that you have so many supports on the one-hour time frame that are all kind of stacked on each other, that essentially you could come down to these prices and then you're gonna get a bounce. And then it could lose the low and then go right to the next support and then you're gonna get a bounce. And it, it can lose that support and then go right back to the lower demand zone and then get a bounce. So it's gonna make for a very choppy environment. And even though the stock is going down, technically it's not broken. So Tesla technically doesn't break down until it loses 703. Okay, so keep that in mind. Anything below 703 is a macro flush point with the next major area of demand sitting at 654. I would expect it to get choppy around 690 just due to the fact that we've got some price action from this prior wick yesterday in that area. So it could get a little bit of a bounce there before it gets faded and rejected again. Now to the top side, what we're looking at here on Tesla we really need to take out today's highs and get over 758, okay? So I wouldn't really be looking for a long trade on Tesla until we get over 758. Over 758 definitely has the room into the 780, 790s, so forth. Anything in between 757 and around 705 is gonna be complete destruction. Does that mean you can't make some money? Does that mean that there's not a potential trade on a shorter term time frame? You know, of course not, but it's going to be very stressful. It's going to be very, very stressful to try to find your entry points on a stock like Tesla, especially due to the fact that it moves around in dollars so quickly that if you're on the wrong side of that move, you can get hurt, if not devastated very, very fast. Let's just be patient. This is all going to come to an end sooner than later. You know, this is going on the eighth day worth of distribution where we've been stuck in a tight range on the overall indexes as a whole. We do have CPI data coming out on Friday. We've got some FOMC. We've got, you know, uh, quarterly options expiring in June as well. You know, going into the summertime, things can look, you know, very, very bleak for a while. If we do not break to the top side when the indexes come out of this distribution cycle, we're going to get an extended leg down. Uh, I can see it taking out, you know, the most recent lows of, of $280 on the triple Qs and, and possibly $260 before we kind of settle and then maybe come out of that. If that happens. Now, that's the worst case scenario that I see happening if we break to the downside. Hopefully, the bulls can kind of pull it together here. We can get Tesla over $757, potentially set up a nice trade for us so we can kind of relax here, get us into $780, $790, take some money. Now, if we get that uh, break to the bottom, you know, 703 is what I'm looking at. Definitely a short position. I understand, and I know this as a trader, I understand that under 703 is going to be choppy. You know, you're going to, we're going to get a first move. We're going to chop around. We're going to bounce back up 705, 710, and we're going to fade around here. And then that second flush 
through the 690 is going to be the big one into 654. Let's just kind of see how this plays out, but at least you guys kind of know the levels and what I'm looking at, and, and you, you guys can make your best educated decision based on technical analysis. Like I said, this range here with all this price action, all these moving averages is going to be absolute hell. Um, with that being said, if you guys liked this video, make sure to join my Discord so you guys can trade with me and the team each and every single day live. Also, if you guys are curious about how I'm day trading options, learning my strategy, getting access to my watch list, all of that information can be found down in the description box below. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube. It would definitely help out me as a small YouTuber and a small channel get out to more traders. I know there's not a lot of us left around these past you know, few months, but if you've managed to stay in the game and you've managed to be smart with your money, you're going to make it out of this. Hope this video helps. I'll see you guys all next time.